Saturday morning, 8th of October. Caleb Ministries and 1 Peter 4 verse 13 reads, Rejoice that you participate in the sufferings of Christ so that you may be overjoyed when His glory is revealed. Our heading, a rational joy. Okay, point one in our discussion of this verse. How the world sees us. Skeptics throughout history have considered verses like this one to be clear evidence that Christianity is rooted in insanity. They don't say it quite like that, but human nature has very little interest in a faith that includes joyful self-denial and hardship. Our beliefs don't seem rational to those who think about the here and the now, that it that it's all there is, or who thinks God's love equals comfort. When we rejoice because of what our sufferings mean, we look crazy. But now, point two, how God sees it. So, how the world sees it, that's okay. Nowhere does the Bible tell us to appear respectable to all people. In fact, Jesus, thank God, for making the gospel evident to the simple and obscure to the wise, Luke 10, 21. And Paul said that we were the foolish in the world, 1 Corinthians 1, 27. We could go through our battles confidently and even rejoice uh, and even joyfully because we know the outcome. We understand what it means to follow a Lord who suffers. Third point, for the joy set before him. That's why he suffered the way he did. Now, Jesus faced all those battles too, so we can see what it means to have joy in heaven. It doesn't mean that every trial is pretty pleasant. Jesus wasn't having much fun in the Garden of Gethsemane the night before his crucifixion, or especially during the crucifixion itself. He was, however, focused on the joy that his trial would lead to be. And that is Hebrew 12, verse 2. Now, our application goes. Now, the above is the lens through which we should look at our trials. What seems to be a defeat is often the path to victory, especially when God is involved. He told his disciples to rejoice when they were persecuted, and Peter could never have repeated the command in verse 13, rejoicing is a viable option for a hurting believer, and in the end it will prove entirely rational. I pray. Lord, in shunning a trial, we are seeking to vo avoid a blessing. So, Lord, grant us to take the good with the bad, knowing in the end it will all pan out in our favor. In Jesus' name, amen.